Good morning. Welcome to the show. James Rule XRP. Follow me on Twitter at Rule XRP. It's Wednesday morning earlier. I have my community coffee dark roast in hand. I got up a little bit earlier this morning. Um, I've been working Monday through Friday, but you know what? There's so, so much exciting news out there. We got a couple of news stories from yesterday that I'm going to cover, but before we get started, I am not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto teacher. I get it out there. If you want to learn more um, about digital assets, this blockchain space, I'll be honest with you. I learn something new every day. There's so many opportunities. There's so many ecosystems out there, and it can become overwhelming at times. And if you're new to this space, congratulations. Let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get started, I want to say prayers to all of my friends in Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, in the United States. There is a Cat 4 whipping up on the panhandle of Florida right now. I have many friends in Florida, so hunker down. Uh, hurricanes are catastrophic. They're horrible. Uh, they do damage, so you got to really be careful. I've been through many here in Southeast Texas, so prayers going out to everyone out in that area. Stay safe. Let me know how you're doing on crypto Twitter, okay? All right, let's get after it. Let's look at the total market cap. It's up a little bit because some of the news yesterday. Total market cap, $1.129 trillion. Bitcoin is up 5.3% for the week at 27401 Ethereum's up to 1715 XRP is right at $0.53. Cents. It was a little bit higher last night. Uh, Cardano, $0.26. Cents. Stellar XLM's $0.12. Cents. HBAR is a little over a nickel. Quants, $101. VeChain, $1.6. XDC. Check out XDC, $0.6.2. Cents. It's up 17% for the week. And these are just little hiccups, you know. I mean... We're still so early to the party, and we have been so early to the party that, you know, worldwide adoption of these ecosystems, these technologies is going to take a little bit longer. Regulation is going to take a little bit longer. And what I'm going to show you here in a minute is proof that the SEC's regulation by enforcement is starting to crumble. It is starting to crumble. Why is that? Well, first of all, on July 13th, 2023, the judge ruled that XRP is not a security. XRP 1, SEC 0. Yesterday, I received an email from Grayscale, the company, and it looks like Grayscale 1, SEC 0. Here's the email announcement they sent me yesterday morning. The GBTC... Grayscale Bitcoin lawsuit decision, D.C. Circuit rules in favor of Grayscale. Today, the D.C. Circuit ruled in favor of Grayscale and our lawsuit challenging the SEC's decision to deny the conversion of GBD, GBTC to an ETF. This is a monumental step forward for American investors, the Bitcoin ecosystem, and all those who have been advocating for Bitcoin exposure through the added protections of the ETF wrapper. At this time, the Grayscale team is reviewing the details outlined in the court's opinion and will share more information on next steps in the ETF conversion process as soon as practical. Or as soon as practical. Okay, I can't read this morning, but yeah, that, that's it. I mean, you know, then you think about the Black Rocks, you know, submitting these ETFs. It's going to happen soon. You know, Gary Gensler is not going to be in office too much longer. What, a year, year and a half maybe. And there's some uh, replies from the public. Brad Gorlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple. While these are great outcomes and it feels like a summer of justice. It's sad that so many in the U.S. crypto community have to resort to the legal process to prove this SEC is out of control and consistently wrong on the facts of the law. Stu Alderati, general counsel for Ripple, said that the SEC is getting battered in the court. In our case, it's been proven wrong, been called hypocritical, lacking faith, allegiance to the law, fined for discovery abuses, and now another distinguished court saying it's arbitrary and capricious. That's a really, really big deal. Jake Stravinsky with the Blockchain Council. 
of the Blockchain Association. I'm sorry, he's a lawyer, but not yours. Chief Policy Officer at the Blockchain Association. I had a great thread that kind of talked about the SEC, talked about Grayscale. What is the SEC going to do? Are they eventually going to let these ETFs happen? They're going to have to. Check it out. Grayscale's victory over the SEC is massive. It's a very it's very rare for the Federal Circuit Court to find that the agency has violated the APA by acting arbitrarily and capriciously. The DC Circuit just delivered a huge embarrassment for the SEC, but the ETF isn't approved yet. The DC Circuit soundly rejected the SEC's view that Grayscale's ETF proposal was not designed to prevent fraudulent and manipulative acts and practices. The SEC has spent a full decade denying spot ETF proposals under this reasoning. The er this era has now come to an end, but the court didn't order the SEC to approve Grayscale's ETF proposal. It just said the SEC's analysis on fraud and manipulation issue was wrong. Now the SEC has to go back and review Grayscale's proposal again with the court's ruling in mind. What will the SEC do? Is Gary Genzer going to say, screw you, we're going to continue to regulate my enforcement? I don't care what you say. The banks are paying me under the table. The J.P. Morgans, the Goldman Sachs, you know, Gary Sachs Gensler or whatever you want to call him. So one theory is that the SEC will just pick a different reason to deny Grayscale's proposal and force more long and costly litigation, kind of like the Ripple SEC lawsuit, which went on for almost three years. That's possible. It's hard to underestimate the extreme hostility of the SEC leadership towards crypto. Will Chair Gensler really accept his loss? Hmm. But another theory is that the SEC will take the D.C. Circuit decision as a semi-graceful exit from their anti-ETF position. I'm in this camp. It's the right move. Quote, we disagree, but we're following the rule of law is a convenient excuse to backing out of losing a battle. Hmm. There will also be political pressure on the SEC to approve spot Bitcoin ETFs. This just isn't about Grayscale. All of TradeFi is ready for a Bitcoin ETF. Many other issuers have proposed ETFs this year, including BlackRock. And Larry Fink throws heavy punches in D.C. There's trillions of dollars under management with BlackRock. They have proposed a Bitcoin ETF, believe it or not. Chair Gensler can also spin a face-saving narrative out of a Bitcoin ETF approval. The SEC has just been getting blasted for its regulation by enforcement approach to crypto. Here's a chance to say, look, we aren't anti-crypto. We're willing to approve the right products. I have no doubt that we'll get a spot ETF sooner or later. The only question is if the SEC wants to make this more painful for itself. Trust me, if there's another denial, there'll be another lawsuit. I strongly recommend the SEC pick sooner. Let's see. In Great, Jake. Jake, that is a great threat. You know, it's 50-50. It can go other way. Is the SEC going to give in? Is the SEC going to be the continue to be the cop on the beat and the assholes or whatever you want to, whatever we call them? I mean, there's no telling, but I tell you what, this was a huge blow against the SEC when the courts are like, nope. You know, Gary's out there saying everything's criminal. Everything's a crime. Everything in crypto is criminal, but he knows everything about it. He taught at uh, MIT for a good while. He had 18 courses on blockchain tech. He knows what these blockchain technologies are. It's just the upper echelons in the banks are are controlling him like a puppet. They have the Gary Gensler strings. They're telling him what to say, what to do. But you know what? Other countries are starting to jump on the crypto bandwagon. And they're starting to accept these technologies around the world. So let's see what happens. Get excited, people. Okay, just in. Elon Musk's. X Twitter has obtained the Rhode Island currency transmission license, which is also required for cryptocurrency payments. Is he bringing Doge? Is he bringing Bitcoin? Is he bringing Ethereum? Is he bringing XRP, XLM, XDC to X? Check out this quick article here. Elon Musk's X obtains required license for crypto payments. 
It says, Elon Musk has decided to make X, formerly Twitter, an everything app with multiple functionalities, including a payment hub processor integrated with the microblogging social network and other tools from the, the building ecosystem. Musk already stated that X is a Doge-friendly place. I don't have any Doge personally. You may. Congratulations to you. Part of the work of becoming a payment hub or cryptocurrency friendly place in the United States lies in obtaining the required licenses to operate such a business legally. Elon Musk's company has been gradually doing that in different states, but mostly focused on fiat payments under the money transmitter license. Notably, Rhode Island approved a requested license by Twitter Payments LLC, X is payments branch on august the 28th according to data from nmls the currency transmitter license also includes different crypto related services such as crypto exchanges wallets and payment processors in particular this license will enable x to store transfer and exchange digital assets on behalf of its users Huh, is Elon Musk trying to be the next PayPal? Is he trying to be the next total in-app everything app? I think he is. You know, the name is now X. Elon Musk's son's name is X. And he he knows about crypto. He knows about Doge. He knows about XRP. He knows about all the above, just like us. So good things are happening. Let it happen. Be patient. Prayers to those in Florida. Hunker down. Get ready. Cat 4 is nothing nice. And uh, my prayers go out to everyone out there. So if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. My name is James Rule XRP. This is the James Rule Crypto Show. I'm going to have another sip of coffee here in a minute. But I hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday. Be safe. Take care. And don't forget, I told you so.